In this video, we'll see how to sort a list in Python. To do this, uh, we're first going to create a list data structure with some names in it representing people who work for my company. To sort a list in Python, all that we have to do is use the dot sort method defined on list objects. This is an operation that performs in place, so we won't see anything returned to us. But when I look at my company data structure, uh, we will see that it has now been sorted, and because it contains strings, it has been sorted alphabetically. Now, I might want to sort my company not in forward alphabetical order, uh, but in reverse alphabetical order. This sort method takes a keyword argument called reverse, which we can set to true. And if I look at my company again, we will see that it is now in the order Julia, Eric, Dylan, or reverse alphabetical order. Sorting methods in Python, including the sortTed function, are relying on the less than comparisons defined in the individual objects themselves. Now if I like, I can overwrite this with a different kind of a function that I can use to compare two different items inside of this container. So for example, instead of sorting my names alphabetically, I can sort them by their lengths, by the number of characters in each name. To do this, I can supply a second keyword argument to the sort method. This is an argument called key, and key is going to accept a Python function. We can pass the built-in function length, len, and when I look at my company data structure, we will see that my names have now been sorted uh, by the length of the names themselves. Now this particular example lets us see one more thing about sorting in Python. Both Julia and Eric consist of five letters. When I ask them to be sorted, because they compare to the same, they're both of length five, what Python has done is kept them in the order they were already in. The name for this is a stable sort, and what this means is I can create very complex sorts of my data, maybe first alphabetically and then by length as we've done here, relying on this feature of Python.